Hi, I'm Sadie Sink, and I am here with LUK to play Ask Me Anything. Hmm, I think Fear Street is a lot more of that um, classic slasher movie in your face, and Stranger Things is more kind of eerie, and like the scares are, you know, a little bit more out of the blue. Now, personally, I feel more scared watching Stranger Things, I think. I mean, I'll never forget when I first watched the show, the first season, when the guy's like running down the hallway and he goes into the elevator and then he gets like grabbed by like some mysterious force. Like that was like one of the scariest moments in the show, I think. But it's hard when you are a part of it because you kind of lose that element of surprise. Um, you know, actually, as I've grown up, I think I've kind of like picked up a more similarities that I have with Max and maybe that's me becoming more like her or me just kind of putting more of myself into the role. She's kind of maybe rubbed off on me in the sense that she's very confident and sure of herself. And, but one of the main things that I think we have in common is just being a loyal friend. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm very, I try to be as loyal as I can. And I think Max has an amazing quality in her where she's, you know, would do anything for her friends. I like to see a little bit of myself in her when it comes to that. I still get any, any time I go like out in public, it depends, I think now with like the masks and everything, it's kind of hard to get recognized or anything. But like, I remember like struggling with that at the beginning and like getting really anxious whenever people would ask for pictures. And I was like, like, what is going on? Um, so like, that's been, that's been a real adjustment, you know, but also just like traveling a lot and being by yourself a lot and learning how to deal with, with boredom and being alone. That's, you know, that's been like a big adjustment, but luckily I've got an amazing cast um, that are going through the exact same thing that I am. So you, I've got a very strong support system, which is also another thing I learned um, that it's very important to have, um, to surround yourself with good people who got your back. Hmm, you know, there's not, there's actually not. <laughs> I think we used to have one at some point, but it's kind of died out over the years. I feel like the overall kind of mentality is like, oh, okay, well, I'll see you when we're gonna be seeing each other every day for eight months. <laughs> this is probably the most recent like um, interaction I've had where I've just been really, really starstruck is I met the cast of Queer Eye and that was a really big moment for me. I was very excited. I mean, there's lots, but that, that one's just one of the ones. Like they were all, all of them were there and it was so exciting and I just loved them all so much. Yes, I think the final scene in the 78 film, I was actually like, genuinely scared because I'd never seen some of these characters before and they were really scary in person, yeah. And it is very physical and it can get really exhausting, but you know, the cast was just so amazing to work with and, and Lee, our director, was incredible. So yeah, no nightmares or anything like that. I just remember really being excited to go into work every day and like get attacked and scream my face off that inspire me um my brother really inspires me um he's kind of who i grew up with doing musical theater so he inspires me every day uh, my friend maya really inspires me she's insp inspired me a lot recently she's just such a hard worker and i really admire that in her and she you know she's just like such a positive positive energy so yeah i'm, re I'm really lucky lucky to have her my little sister too, she really does. And it's nice when you see someone so young who's so like mature and just wise beyond her years and you know, just seeing what a cool person she's turning into has been, has been really amazing to watch. So yeah, she's definitely inspiring also. Yeah, I really loved learning more about the 70s fashion and, and music and everything. It was, it was really, really fun. As far as fashion goes, I really love like all the corduroy shorts. I thought those were super cute. Um, and then for music, I listened to a lot of Grease while I was filming. I love that era. And I think if I, yeah, if I could choose any of the eras that, that um, Fear Street took place in, I would definitely choose the 70s. It just seemed very, very fun, very bright and happy. Oh, I don't know what I would do if I, if I weren't acting. When I was younger, for a while, I really wanted to be a lawyer. And I think, I don't know, I could maybe see myself doing that if I hadn't chosen this career path, which I'm very glad that I did choose this career path. But, and then I started watching Grey's Anatomy and I really wanted to be a doctor. Uh, now, I, now I can, maybe I can just play a doctor or play a lawyer, we'll see. Thank you for watching Ask Me Anything with Elle. I hope you enjoyed.